Hey y'all, welcome back to Shaved with Hamad, episode 20. All right, let's get started. Over the last several weeks, I've been thinking more about some new shaving creams or tools I should use. I think it's well about time that I should diversify my, my craft and techniques and tools. Well, because I know there's just so many kinds of things out there I could try, like I think I've been stuck in a habit of using certain tools and I think it's about time that I branched out. So if any of you have any recommendation of creams or razors or blades that you want to see me try out and I can showcase and explain how they work for you, go ahead and link me to some and I'll be happy to give them a go. So one thing I've been working on more lately is trying to be more efficient with my shaves and I'll try to complete as much as I can within the passes. A lot of it you would think comes down to, oh, just reshaving areas more and more, but that's not really the case. See, a lot of it just comes down to it's technique. With these kind of razors, the straight edge, single straight edge and the double edge, let the blade do the work for you. I am barely putting any pressure at all on my face. I'm letting it glide. Think of it as doing light strokes with a paintbrush. Not pressing towards the paint will seep through the canvas or paper, but just guiding it. Another thing I have been thinking more about lately is just what are the real differences between grooming and shaving beards versus applying makeup? Well. I had a couple little thoughts about it, maybe, I don't, I don't know if this is going to go anywhere, but are they really that comparable? They are both dealing with your face, there's different applications of cream, brushes, and other tools, so maybe there is something there. One thing I will not tolerate though, is guys complain about, oh, why does a girl always wear makeup, she's not her real self, it's whatever she wants it to be. like. Leave that to them and how they want to do what they want with their face. Not up for you guys. But I think discovering your own style takes time, risks, and much, and being creative, of course. But guys, I mean, I suppose we have it pretty simple, so there's not a lot we can complain about. Because for someone like me, I can just shave off everything that I have every two to four days, and I say, "Oh, I guess I look decent." But there is a little more craft and art that goes with makeup, I suppose. Please take care of your materials. If you remember my last episode, I detailed the story, which results from me not probably taking care of good cleaning my shaving tools after performing and some dire consequences. So this goes for makeup artists as well. You want to take good care of your brushes, make sure you clean them well after using them because these with the creams can pick up a lot of the, the oil and dirt from your face after and you don't want that to stay on. So please do yourself a favor and take care of your tools. Just like any cutting or butcher's knife, they it may require some sharpening and just taking general care of. These are things that go into your face, rather on the layers of your face, so please take care of yourself. Another thing I have done for quite some time, now I don't know how many other shavers do this, but in addition to using my single shredded razor to do the first three passes, I finish it all off with my double edge razor. I use it as more of my fine-tuning tool and just to get a little more of the hair. I prefer my very clean shaven look. It feels pretty soon after using this kind of shaving cream. So do you guys use two tools, just one? Let me know. And if you notice so far, my face does not have much red on it at all. No cuts quite yet. All right, y'all, it is time for shout outs. So in any future videos, if you'd like a shout out, uh, you can find me on Twitter. Sometimes we're asking if you guys would like a shout out, leave a comment, 
and I might just mention it in the next video. And just let me know. So first, let's start with my coworkers who give me ideas and crit some well-founded criticism. So David, Stephanie, Cashrell, and Jason. Well, do you like bros? Do you like brunching? How about both? Then follow bros.who.brunch on Instagram for your brunch ventures. My coworker Jason and his friends run that, and there's some good looking foods on there. Next, let's start with the Twitter shoutouts. This is from Brian or at Cosmos. I can't think of someone who's more excited about Rajan Rondo and the Bulls than him. He'll fit amazingly with Jimmy Butler. Next is Adam or at the bearded pole. He's always been one of my first haters of the show. He may have grow his beard and all, but he wants to be clean shaven someday. Next is Max or John Nikowski. She's a rad Lakers fan, and I hear she makes some great tacos, apparently. Next is Ray Ray or at the No Look Fat Pass. I've been following him for years, and he's been one of the first basketball blogs I've read and followed. And he shouted me out on his podcast, Ray Ray is Fundamental. So, more than once too, so during the season, maybe you should check him out. Now that we're at the end of this video, I have to ask you, what do plastic objects do to keep in shape? They go recycling. Thank you, goodbye, until next time.